number 31, Dustin Fletcher. He played footy before he could crawl. The son of a gun who himself became a gun. Wonderful tackle from Fletcher. Dustin Fletcher started off mixing school duties with playing in the big league. And over 20 seasons, he's locked limbs with the greats. From Gary Ablett Sr. That's a good sign for Essendon. Through to Buddy Franklin. With those gangly arms and legs, the fans know him as Inspector Gadget. Fletcher arriving! But he's everyone's superhero. There's nothing he can't reach. No opponent too tall. And he's still running them down, making the impossible look easy. A few weeks shy of his 37th birthday. Heavy out run, Fletcher! No sirree! Fletcher arriving! Fletcher, he's 36 years of age, and he will not fall for that! Tonight in the city of paradise, against opponents half his age, Dustin Fletcher becomes only the 12th player in history to clock up 350 games. Oh, wow! He's an enduring champion, and tonight the football world salutes the unstoppable Fletch. Ah, uh, yes. A very good evening and welcome to Saturday Night Football. That man there, Dustin Fletcher, playing game 350 tonight. What an outstanding achievement it is as his teammates get behind him for this one here at Metricom Stadium playing the Gold Coast. A couple of his young fellas almost ready to play senior football themselves there. And of course, uh, Fletch, what, 20 years in the system, 350 games. Uh, here is a champ now. He didn't have the biggest of games, but his last quarter here, there's some highlights from the last quarter, and he saved them just when West, uh, when the Gold Coast were pressing. He just does this. Look at the leg speed of him when blokes are tired. That's something he hasn't lost yeah. over that 20-year period. He just knows when to zone off his man as well, so he saved him, and uh, I'm sure he would have celebrated well last night. What would he have done after the game? Would he have had a cup of tea or a couple of beers? Is he still here? He's getting cheered uh, off. Well done to the Gold Coast players for uh, standing around too. He, he admits, Bill, he's not the hardest trainer, so that's why he's even more of a freak. Oh. He uh, doesn't train the hardest, Brownie, but uh, he does love a frothy, Bill, so I'm sure, sure. Uh, he would have got into it last night, although yeah. they've got it Carlton next Saturday afternoon, so they couldn't have gone too hard. Mm. <laughs> Didn't quite go to plan the night, it was hard work, but good to get the win in the end. Oh yeah, you know, that's what you play for to win games, and it's hard enough to win away, but um, the way Gold Coast came out and played, you know, win for a tough game. No doubt, the coaches spoke to you at three-quarter time about contested footy and the importance. Fantastic, around the contest, the guys stood up, got the job done in that last quarter. Yeah, you know, thanks to the boys, you know, midfield you know, did a good job in the, in the last bit there, and you know, you play con good contested footy and you win games most of the time. Now, how do you get to enjoy this? Go back to the hotel and put the feet up and uh, yeah. just enjoy the night? Yeah, I'll sneak one in, I reckon, with a few of the boys. We've got a big few games coming up, so um, the old professionalism might come into play. <laughs> Again, mate, congratulations. 350 games. Well done, mate.